is Nikki Vegan and today we're gonna make some pumpkin spice chocolate chip cookies and it's not a fluffy cakey cookie it's like a chewy gooey in the center crispy on the outside chocolate chip cookie but with all the flavors of fall so I hope you guys are excited about this video and let's get started we're gonna start by mixing together the dry ingredients and this is where we get all of those cozy fall flavors. I have some flour here and I'm gonna add some cinnamon, ground ginger, some ground clove, and allspice. Next comes some salt. This is gonna to help to balance out the sweetness and also make these cookies taste nice and buttery. Then I'll add some baking powder and baking soda and I like to sift it in to prevent lumps. So it's really important here to take a second and actually whisk the dry ingredients together. I know it might not seem important because you're gonna mix everything together later, but when you mix the dry ingredients separately, just with a whisk for a couple seconds, it helps to incorporate the baking powder, baking soda, the salt, and those spices all throughout the flour in a way that's really even. And that's just gonna create a lot more consistency and a better outcome in your cookie. And it's just one of those little tiny things that you can do that actually kind of adds up to make a difference and it's the difference between an okay cookie and a really good cookie it's all those little tiny things and luckily this is a very easy thing to do next we're gonna whisk together the wet ingredients and this is really easy I'm gonna combine some cane sugar with light brown sugar and canned pumpkin puree I'm just gonna add that to a mixing bowl along with some vanilla and stir this all together I'm gonna mix this for about two minutes I usually whisk this by hand but if you're using an electric mixer you can just do one minute then I'm gonna add the dry ingredients. I like to do half at a time because at this point, I wanna be careful not to over mix. There's a couple different kinds of vegan chocolate chips that I like to use. The first is probably no surprise to any of you who've watched my baking videos, and it's the Enjoy Life Semi-Sweet Mini Chocolate Chips. I love how versatile these are, and I really like that they're mini because I find that they kind of evenly disperse throughout the cookie, and you get a little bit of chocolate in each bite. The one downside, though, is that because they're smaller, you're not going to get those large chocolate puddles that kind of create that really sort of satisfying Instagrammable cookie pull where you see all the melted chocolate when you pull the cookie apart, and if that's what you're going for you're going to want to use a larger chocolate chip. I really like these organic vegan friendly chocolate chips from Simply Organic. I believe it's a Kroger brand. Now this is my favorite part. I'm going to stir in the chocolate chips and some chopped pecans. This combo is so good with all of those cozy pumpkin spicy seasonings that we added earlier on. So this recipe makes about 25 cookies, a really sort of standard size chocolate chip cookie. But I also really like making jumbo bakery style cookies, just kind of coffee house vibes, especially if I'm gonna be entertaining or if I'm giving cookies to a, like, to a friend as a gift. I just find that they have a lot of wow factor when you make them really nice and big. And so when I measure out my cookies to put them on the cookie tray, I use the OXO medium size ice cream scoop and I just do two scoops for the big cookies and I do one scoop for the regular size cookies and I have the adjusted bake times for both written out in the recipe below. Another little bakery style cookie tip is to reserve some of the chocolate chips or pecans for the top. Instead of mixing everything in, you can reserve a few chocolate chips or pieces of the pecans and just sort of strategically place them on top so that when they bake, they remain visible because if you don't do that, they kind of all just bake together and I still think that looks nice. It's a very sort of classic chocolate chip cookie look, but if you want people to know right away, oh, that's a chocolate chip pecan pumpkin spice cookie, you you can decorate the top with some pecans and some chocolate chips and it's kind of a visual indicator of what's going on inside. We're going to chill the cookies for a few minutes to firm them back up and then pop them into the oven. I like to let them sit on the baking tray when they come out of the oven for about five minutes so that they can finish baking out of the oven without overcooking and that's going to help you get that really nice bakery style texture. These are going to be really soft and tender in the center with that gooey chocolate but they have a nice crispiness around the edge that I think is also really flavorful and delicious. These are basically like your favorite chocolate chip cookie, but with a fall twist. So you're gonna get some pumpkin spice. We've got the toasted pecans, the melted dark chocolate. The combination is so cozy and perfect for the autumn. These are really great to make ahead and you can even freeze the dough or the baked cookies if you have leftovers. All of those instructions are below. They smell so incredible and they definitely have a little bit of pumpkin spice like right away You know, this is a fall chocolate chip cookie, but they also have this like butteriness and this sort of just classic chocolate chip cookie smell that is just absolutely heavenly. Ah! So, it's not gonna focus now. There we go. This is an exceptionally good cookie. And if you love pumpkin spice and you love a good baking project on a cozy fall day, you've absolutely gotta make this recipe. It is 
perfectly balanced. The brown sugar with the pumpkin and those warming spices, you get a little cinnamon, a little clove, a little ginger, and that sea salt is so key because it really brings out the kind of buttery richness and the pecans, another level. So good. Fun fact about these cookies, they're actually better the next day, which sounds crazy because everyone loves a warm chocolate chip cookie out of the oven, but I find that they're even better the next day because they've had kind of time to marinate and get all those flavors just inter interlaced and all dispersed throughout the cookie and the texture still stays soft. They don't get hard and crunchy. What I do is I let them cool on the pan for about five minutes. That's actually really important because they're gonna finish baking. They're not quite done when they come out of the oven. Five minutes, at that point, you can lift them off the cookie tray and put them onto a cooling rack eat as many as you want right then but whatever leftovers you have once they're totally cool and kind of dry all the way around which is why it's a good idea to put them on the rack you can put them in an airtight container and the next day the next day you are going to be such a happy person because they're still going to be nice and soft they're still going to be really chewy but the flavor is just going to be even better and that's why not only are these really great for meal prep they're also really great to give as a gift because you can make them and give them to a friend and they're still going to be delicious for a couple of days you can also freeze the dough if you want i just scoop the cookie dough onto a cookie tray and i put the whole tray in the freezer and that way they freeze in individual portions and once they're frozen solid you can just transfer them to an airtight container and freeze them for literally up to six months and just bake one at a time all of them whatever you want to do whenever you want a freshly baked pumpkin spice chocolate chip cookie they're there and waiting for you which i think is so great and you can just add two more minutes to the bake time and they'll turn out perfectly if you're in the mood to bake and you want some more vegan cookie recipes these strawberry chocolate chip cookies are another one of my favorites kind of the best of both worlds if you love chocolate covered strawberries i also really love these nordic style cardamom sugar cookies i make them into little sandwich cookies with strawberry jam and obviously this is a very Christmassy presentation but you can really use any kind of cookie cutter you like and they work for all kinds of occasions and that little bit of cardamom with the strawberry first of all warms my Norwegian heart because that's just a very classic combo but it's also just very cozy with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and I really think you're gonna enjoy it again the texture on both of these cookies on point I know you're gonna love it so I'll put those recipes in the description box below and that's also where you'll find this recipe if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up share it with a friend who loves to bake as well and I will see you guys in a video very soon bye